Alrighty, hello friends. Miss Ramsey coming to you from room 36 at Heron High School. Um, today we are working on our chicken drumstick dissection. Very, very scientific. So what we have is just a chicken drumstick from um, the grocery store and we are going to try to dissect it and identify as many tissues as we can. So we know that um, we are going to find one kind of muscle tissue, and that is skeletal muscle tissue. We are going to find one kind of epithelium, that is stratified squamous epithelium. And then we are going to find, hopefully, all seven kinds of um, connective tissue. So those are bone and cartilage, blood and hematopoietic, adipose and areolar, and fibrous connective tissue. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna pick some things off here. So um, I always like to start with the stratified squamous epithelium. We know that stratified epithelium is there for protection. And we know that stratified squamous epithelium is multiple layers of uh, scale-like cells. And we know that it is protection in the form of skin. So this skin here, this chicken skin, this is our stratified squamous epithelium. So I'm just going to remove it and isolate it. Um, tools that I'm using today are going to just be our scissors, our dissecting scissors. Um, so I'm going to isolate some of this stratified squamous connective tissue and, or sorry, epithelium, not connective tissue. This is epithelium. And actually, as we start to peel this apart, I'm going to try to get this closer so you can see. I'm filming on an iPhone, so, you know, very, very scientific here. Um, so if you can see, there is a bit of, like, clearish fascia. That clearish fascia is also known as areolar connective tissue. So when we think about the kind of connective tissue that um, lines our internal organs and gives them shape um, and helps kind of be the glue of our body. Oh, there we go. See that very thin sheen? Um, that is our areolar connective tissue right there. And it is underneath our stratified squamous epithelium. So let me continue to isolate that stratified squamous epithelium and try to get some of that areolar connective tissue. I'm making a, um, a paper for you all to be able to check out at the end with all of our different kinds of tissue. All right, so there's our epithelium, nice and isolated. Putting it on the paper and let me try to get some of this, some of this connective tissue. It's the connective tissue, the um, areolar connective tissue is kind of difficult to isolate. So it's usually not very pretty on our paper that when we isolate it. Um, so we just try our best. I'm also going to keep my eye out as I'm taking this epithelium off for any adipose tissue. Um, remember, adipose tissue is fat. And sometimes you'll find some subcutaneous fat, um, fat underneath the skin of your chicken wing. Um, like here, we seems like maybe we've got a little here is this like white, this white marbling, a little bit of fat there. So I'm gonna try to cut some of that off. We might be able to find some more fat down closer to the bone. Um, so we'll go ahead and give that a try. We're having lots of skin, lots of skin here. Okay. So, um, up next, I'm going to go ahead and try to um, start taking this um, muscle off of the bone. And as we cut through this muscle, uh, we're going to start to find tendons. And tendons are yet another kind of connective tissue. So our tendons are our dense fibrous connective tissue. So fibrous connective tissue, dense connective tissue proper um, are what our tendons are. And here you can see, um, if you see these white lines here, um, these are being, these are connecting your muscle or 
in this case, the chicken's muscle, chicken's muscle to the bone. So there we have a tendon. So that is our fibrous connective tissue or dense fibrous connective tissue proper. I'm gonna cut that tendon. And then I'm also gonna isolate some of the skeletal muscle here. So all of the things that we think about with like meat on chicken, um, that is fiber or skeletal, skeletal muscle. So there's some skeletal muscle that I'm going to go ahead and isolate. All right. So, so far we have found stratified squamous epithelium in the form of skin. We have found skeletal muscle in the form of the meat on the chicken. Um, we have found areolar connective tissue in the form of that really sheer, uh, like sheen stuff that is giving support and shape to our um, chicken leg. And we have found dense fibrous connective tissue in the form of um, a tendon. We are still on the lookout for fat. So gonna go ahead and try to next really remove this muscle off of this bone because it helps us to be able to possibly find some fat closer to the bone. Um, and also as we get closer to the bone, um, we might start to see blood um, like in the form of from blood vessels. So remember blood vessels, if we find any blood vessels, those are actually smooth muscle. Um, yeah. So. So here you can see the bone. Um, so remember bone is a supportive connective tissue. Um, I'm gonna isolate that in just a moment, but oh, here we go, we got some blood. All right, so you can see a little bit of blood. I've broken a blood vessel right here. So there's a little bit of blood that I'm gonna try to isolate and put onto our page. Um, so just a teeny bit of blood here. Really not having a lot of luck with the adipose tissue. We're not really seeing any adipose tissue, but we did see a little baby bit of blood. All right, so we also have some cartilage here. So on the end of this bone, see that white shiny stuff? That is cartilage. Um, so cartilage is there to um, cushion your knees. So there's some cartilage. Sometimes you can get a little bit of cartilage cap off of these chicken bones. Um, so also we have cartilage on this other side. It's just kind of more buried in meat. So cartilage here. Um, remember cartilage is a form of supportive connective tissue as well. So your bone and your cartilage are supportive connective tissue. Alrighty, so we've got bone, we've got cartilage, we had some blood that we just saw. I'm having a hard time getting this muscle off of the bone today. Oh no, that's one of the lunch bells. How appropriate, right? Alrighty. Let's see here. Lots of chicken meat here. Oh, is that, could it be some fat? Nope. a little baby bit of fat here so see this um you can kind of see this yellow stuff right about here that is some fat so that's adipose tissue so i'm going to try to isolate that very quickly put it on our page just a little bit of adipose
Here's a little bit more, this yellow here. That's more adipose tissue. We are just about down to the hematopoietic, which is where I'm actually gonna have to break this bone open to show you that. Um, just trying to get the meat off of the bone before I break it open. So here we see we have the bone mostly isolated still. I mean, you can see those tendons are really hanging onto that bone. They're very much there for, to attach your muscles to your bone. There we got some blood. There's some blood. Okay. So put our blood on the paper if I can get it. This blood's being a little hard to get. There we go. Good enough. Um, cartilage, remember cartilage is the end of the bone and I'm going to now break the bone. So cover your ears if you don't like that noise. All right, so when we break the bone open, you see bone marrow. Um, that marrow is the hematopoietic tissue. Um, so this is where your red blood cells are made. Looks like blood, bone marrow. Okay, so we got hematopoietic, we've got bone, we've got cartilage. We've got it all. All right, friends. Um, I believe that is it for the dissection. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you all in class.